good uh, evening team I wish to welcome you to the second uh, day lecture so we had started the course that is Microsoft Office packages and uh, on behalf of SmartMag, uh, SmartNet uh, Edu Center I would like to welcome you to this new uh, continuation of the course that we had started so uh, a quick uh, look down on it we had mentioned that uh, the Microsoft Office package actually has different core, for core aspects uh, that we mentioned about seven of them we mentioned there is weight so the weight is the one that we covered earlier on we mentioned this is for preparation of documents so documents were able to edit them were able to do different uh, things were able to uh, type something were able to edit were able to redesign it attach tables and do different things and be able to correct the spellings that we made be able to translate what we have written to a different language basically all those things were able to do and uh, uh, that is what uh, Microsoft Word was able to give us today we want to go into the PowerPoint for PowerPoint basically we in summary is for presentation sake so we will be able to make a slides that will be presented and we'll design some formats of how this information we needed to be presented on top of that is what we mentioned the publisher so publisher is there to for designs we we'll see how we can make a calendar and make some fancy fancier designs that are going to be used in G flyers and some other things so be able to see what publisher can bring about and be able to learn uh, we we'll go to Excel Excel also will take us into the statistical uh, data packages so we'll be able to manipulate figures uh, arrange them both uh, numerical and uh, weights we'll be able to manipulate them be able to uh, to find meaning or uh, find relationship between figures that is addition subtraction and be able to do multiple things to that like the calculator basically so it will get to lead us to that then we come the one note the one note basically is a note taker so we'll be able to attach some notes then you see also some other advanced features that it has which are going to use when you're using it on your computer uh, basically there are more features to it than just the note taking that we're going to see and how this can be taken up online so that whenever you have another device you log in you'll be able to see uh, everything that you want uh, to be saved or to be seen we come to the outlook the outlook basically is a mailing service so microsoft office uh, basically or microsoft has the mailing service uh, similar like the way we have gmail we have outlook so the mail service for is the outlook that is for microsoft so we are able to enter different mails uh, that can be able to be utilized and be able to receive messages uh, they have more features actually there are more features we can do team networking like we can we, we are going to store information you are going to use a lot of things even much of the cloud storage and that it has more on the professional side than it is on the gmail and other uh, other small mailing services then away from that we have what we call access so access we come and see is for making database uh, it's very simple it's just that it's uh, kind of looked complicated but otherwise we come and see when we come and talk on or come and look at it it should be very interesting and we'll see what we can design in it so straight away like we had mentioned uh, in wait what we covered we want to go into the PowerPoint so for PowerPoint you remember what we mentioned if you want to open the PowerPoint like uh, in Word we'll go on our computer so where we do the next to the computer the windows logo or i don't know which which way to office you're using but i'm um, specifically for windows that's operating system so on the windows next to the windows logo there is a search when you type on the search you just type the word uh, powerpoint it will be able to pop out or if you want just on your desktop get a free space on the desktop right click with your mouse when you right click it will bring the option new 
So when you go to new, it will bring you whether you want to add a new folder, you want to add a new, uh, all these facets for Microsoft will also be there. Microsoft Office, Word, uh, PowerPoint, Excel, Publisher, all those will be, uh, even access will be there so that you can able to pick from there. Once you click, it opens. As you open, you can be able to save it, name it. Uh, after you name it, you open it. So after you just open, the way it will show inside, let's go on the file. So when you just open it, it will be like new. So the new will give you this presentation for the first time when you open it. So there, like we had uh, earlier said in the previous lecture, we said uh, you're going to be given a multiple templates that you would wish to use for your presentation or your design. So those who are in students in school would want to make use of any of the template that is given. They will just be typing in the words and it will take them through as such, which is nicely designed and uh, a bit fancier uh, for the presentation itself. Now we are going to see how we are going to come up with this. For us, normally we'll just pick the blank presentation so that we pick it up from there. But we don't want to start a new one, we'll just continue with the one that we start we are already on. So coming here, uh, we wish to go ahead and add further uh, slides so that we'll be able to open up. But when you just open the first uh, fresh one, it will bring you the slide, then we'll see how we can add and subtract. So the major uh, summary of the parts that we are going to tackle, we are going to tackle on the home, what is under home, uh, what are we going to do under home, what is under insert, what do we do under insertion, and what can we do, other features that are there. We have design, we have transition, we have animation, we have slide, we have review, we have view, and there will be a format that will be popping up. Also, when we are doing some designs, other uh, features will be popping up. Then they tell me what you want to do, we will also come to it. So for now, uh, we want to know that uh, on each section that we are coming to look at, it has what this, this pop-up that is coming here on top here. So this is what we call a ribbon. So a ribbon will pop up, a ribbon will attach more functions that we are going to see underneath each segment. So you will come to the design, to a lot of uh, ribbons, uh, the ribbon will come with different information that is there. So we want to start with home. So under home, uh, uh, let's take for instance, we want to start something here. So we can just delete this one that is right click. Right click, there will be options and it will tell us delete slide. So we can just get rid of that slide. We want to start something new. So when we want to attach a new slide, you can see on top new slide there. So we can pick the type of a slide we want. Is it a title just? Or do you want to have a title and a meaning content, section header, or such? So we are able to pick according to what we want. For now, let's pick the title, the title slide. So for this title slide, uh, the design that you are seeing in the background has just been added. We we'll come and see it in the design. So no more it will just show you a plain background that is white then you're able to attach other segments or other features or designs that you wish to take up. So for this, we want to try to demonstrate something that we'll be using. So for now, maybe let's take it um, out, how to cook Sima. So let's take for instance, that is the, 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 the presentation we want to make. We're going to make this presentation, how to cook Sima. So we want to make, okay, uh, this is done by uh, Maxwell Mwape. Okay, so this is the presentation that is going to be done by Maxwell Mwape. So if you have seen, the one I put, there are two boxes that came up. So the first one I put out to Kukunsima, the second one I've put this. So on each box, when I click on the word, it will show me the box. So this tells me that I can do further adjustment that I want to do. I can increase it or reduce according to the way I want it. On top of that, when I come where it, if you see the way I'm moving it, I'm moving it from top to bottom, it will show me that star. Once the star, I can just press the right click and pull it up with it. Like I can just drag it up to the position where I feel like I need it to fit. So now you come and see that we have different features that are here. So I want this way to look different. So we, as earlier we mentioned, 
when I click, when I double click on one word, so I'm here, you can see my cursor there is blinking there. So when I double click, when I double click, it's on one word that is picked. When I triple click, it's everything that is selected. So basically the, the, the whole sentence will be selected once you triple click. When you double click on the word that you want so it is a quicker one or you can just uh, drag from the end to where you want to end if you want to end on one word or the whole, sen the whole sentence you'll be able to pick so we have multiple ways of working around uh, in this microsoft office packages we have different segments where you can do one and the same thing so once you click that you come and see on top here we have the font so different fonts are going to be there. We can pick the font of our liking. Uh, we can pick uh, either Algerian. <coughs> so we can pick something like Algeria. And then on top of that, we can pick the size we want. So this is a manual number input. Once we come to the scroll down here, you'll see different numbers uh, that are popping up. And as you can see, as I'm uh, scrolling through, the my size of the word or the title is changing the size so we can pick the one that we want from here oh if you don't wish to use this you can use you can see slightly there's a case increase uh that is the font size increment and down so that is like an automatic one you don't ig i don't know the size so i just want to see it bigger getting bigger to the size that i like so i'll just keep on pressing it pressing it and it will keep going up I'll just keep on pressing maybe on the low, down, 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 until it keeps going. Mind you, any change we make is for the highlighted segment. So we pick the one we want. Okay, we want our to cook consumer. Okay, that's the one we want. That size is fine. Okay, we pick it. So it will tell us on the manual segment that what you have picked is 80. So what we want to do is what we want to make it bored so it can be bolded, like too dark. So we can click that one, we make it darker. If you see we remove, it's less dark. So we, do we want to italize it? We can even italize it. So if you see the next words that I'll be writing, because those are in dark form, it means the next words I'll be writing, they'll, have bold, they'll be bought and they'll be italized. So I can click on top of it uh, for the word. Once I click, I move the mouse. I can click and these are moved. So next words will not have it. So let's come back to this. So we have italized it and we have made it bold. Then what other things can we get to do? So we can see we can change the case. Should we want them to be capital letters, small letters, uh, maybe only the first letter be capitalized, we can get to do that. So these are the options that you give us on this segment. Uh, away from that, do we want to paint the color? Maybe do we want these words to have a different color from the one that they have? Maybe we wish to make them uh, that color. So we can pick the color that we want it to have and it will come out like that. Away from that, we want now to centralize it. How do you want to position this? Do you want like it the way the words are on the left side or we want them to move on the right side or to be at the center? So here you can see the one highlighted here is the position. So the alignment is on the left side. So we can pick it to be at the center and our way to come and look like that. We can put it on the feather uh, right. We can put it on the, in the center. So that will give us that option. So We'll put it, I think there it looks fine. So then by who? Who is making this presentation or who is, a, who is doing the presentation? So what we want to do is maybe do you like the color for the wedding that has been put across? We can say, okay, if you are fine, you can put or you wish to change to a different color. Okay, uh, that will be taken up. So, okay, we can pick that color. Do we like the position? Do we want it to be at the furthest end? Or do we want it to be at the center? Okay, the center, maybe it will look much better. So, uh, this is, we have done. This is our first slide. Uh, it has been done and we have used different facets of the home. So, we wish to go to the next slide. So, the next slide, we can come pick which one do we want is this just a title or a title content maybe we can pick title content so title content we can put or what we can put are uh, ingredients so ingredients slash or we can put we can attach um uh, instruments 
So what are the ingredients and what are the instruments? So on top of that, we can put maybe a port. We can put maybe a cup for getting the millimill. We can put uh, millimill itself. We can put uh, water. We can put a uh, stove, source of it. We can put a um, cooking stick. So we'll put those and we'll list them like that. If you see automatically it is attaching something for us, like bullet form in the format that we want. But should it happen that you don't like this type? You do the normal selection, like the way we said, you put the case at the end, you keep dragging up until the top. So once we pick those, we can come on top. Down here, we're talking of alignment. On top, we'll talk of now what type of bulletin we want. So from there, once you click, to give you the type of options that you want. Do you want the box type? Do you want this type? Do you want that type? Do you want the circular type? Do you want the circle field, square field, square open? Okay. So you can pick anything, you want those arrows type, that is fine. So if you can see here, this one, it's uh, in a box. So it also tells us, do we want to enlarge it? We want to wish to enlarge the words that are written there, we can enlarge it and make it uh, bigger so that our presentation can look uh, nice and uh, that big. So, <clears throat> okay. Maybe somewhere there. Then we ask, do we like the font? Is the font size okay? Do we want it to be the same font? So we can we are free to choose the biggest font size and be able to make our presentation fit as we want it to be. So we put those. So the ingredients, maybe this one, do we want to make it in the center so we can centralize it? We can put it on the other side or the other side, the alignment. That will be fine. The weight color is fine. So we can now go to the next slide. Also, the next slide we'll pick, we'll press. If we we'll, the if you want to pick just the previous slide that you had gotten, we had the title and content. So if we wish to pick the same one, we can just press on top here and the slide will pop up. But if we want to select a specific type, we'll come to the option here and be able to pick a specific slide that we wish. But for now, we just want uh, the same type that came. So we can just press on top and the similar one will pop up down. So as it comes here, what do we want now? So maybe we'll talk, we'll talk of uh, steps to take. Steps. Okay, we want to indicate steps uh, to take on cooking. So we are cooking now, but we want to know the steps that we are going to take. So uh, we are going to say, okay, uh, Okay, steps to take. Do we want it to be positioned there at the center or there? So, what we can see the next thing that we can get to see is uh, where when we are we are in the the first part of the home. So we mentioned on top here we can get to do that. Let's just look at one other thing that we can do. So take for instance a uh, port under port. Maybe we had mentioned. Um, I'll press enter to bring me like a, a bullet. Maybe I'll put uh, metal port or aluminium. So those two, we see that this is not part of the ingredient. It's just a list of a type of a port, which type of a port we want. So when I come here on the first, I can delete this halo. Now I can make sure that this one just describes what is on top. I don't want it to be listed as one of them. So I can go on top. If you can notice, here is where we're picking the selection. We picked the bulletin type. Here, if we wanted to make it numbered, to be numbered, we could have used those if they were in a certain order. But the last one here, it's a font's movement. So we can just space it off if we want, or further, so that that doesn't attach anything. So on the port, specifically, we have attached those two. So the port should be something that is metallic, metal pot or something if the cup too we wanted to put this uh, or we can put uh, even a scoop a scoop that is just for getting the minimal we can even just use a scoop we don't really necessarily need uh, uh, something that is uh, maybe like 
uh, a cup or something we might need maybe just a scoop so we can come and we'll push it and that information will basically just attach uh, on top of the cup so for the cup <coughs> we can get a cup or we can just get a scoop so and our information will pop up just like that so you can see it will be easier for someone to differentiate that ingredients or instruments are basically what is listed here but this one is a further definition or addition of more information to what is there uh, that is the movement so that is what this one will give us will give us the spacing we'll be able to <coughs> to attach a space yeah, increase reduce the lining and all that so basically that is that so uh, we will come to under home <coughs> for different things we want to fill up the shape the color uh, be it is a shape that we have made we have a box or square or something then we have some shapes here much of this we will see them on the next segment so we want to come to understand also the insertion so the insertion uh, we have the new slide also this part will allow us to insert a new slide to insert a new table a picture a online picture screenshot photo we can put a photo album we can put shapes smart art the chart and different different things we can get to insert on our slide so let's see to the slide that we are on so the steps take for instance these steps we want it to be pictorial so one other thing that i mentioned is different features might be presented on the short scale if you notice down here the slide we picked which has content down you can notice that it has a table here it has the graph the chart it has the smart art it has the insert uh, video it has the online pictures and it has pictures from offline so from what you can notice here uh, instead of me going for insertion maybe come in here come in here come in here come in here for smart shapes and the chart i can just press directly from here or i can come on top also at home instead of coming here for a new slide i can just come in the insertion and the new slide will come and if i need to pick a type of a slide i'll just pick from there just as normal as what we are doing so there are different segments at different points where you find the one and the same options that will be allowed so we come to the steps so the steps want to pick a table want to know what type of um uh, how do we want it the table to be uh, sorry what type of um, okay so we can pick either this table or we can pick the one that is here so once we select the table it will allow us to pick how many columns and rows that we want to put around that table so we can pick that and keep going how many do we want to go down uh, the list okay even that maybe will be fine so we can list uh, put uh, time of cooking so time of cooking we can put maybe between 0 to 25 minutes uh, okay we can put maybe something like 25 mean to uh, maybe 35 then we can put maybe 35 mean to 50 mean okay so something like that yeah so we can put that and like we said we can drag it open big we can take it down when we find the star it will be able to allow us for dragging it to where we want that table to fall so we can put activity so activities what do you do between 0 to 25 minutes maybe you put water uh, you can say okay we'll pour water that is in a, a pot and let it boil on the stove for above minutes okay so that is clear what happens between this so if we want we don't like them they're capitalized like we said we can just come highlight them come to home 
and if you see we can we are the part here for cases we can just lower case them and they'll look as such and they'll come to be normal because our capital letter is one on the computer so it will keep popping up like that so what happens between 25 minutes to that so we will add um, just a moderate amount okay amount of of, of cooking of um, that's millimeter we we'll just add that so add a bit of uh, millimeter and we'll keep uh, uh, steering the cooking stick with the cooking stick okay so we'll keep steering the cooking stick as we let it sim simmer we'll let it simmer okay so we'll let it simmer to boil at a certain temperature continuously for some time so that is what we'll do so add moderate amount of meal meal and keep it steering so with cooking sticks so at this point in time at 25 minutes exactly we'll do this activity to let it keep boiling and do up for that period of time so we wish to let it uh, change the you can see instead of going where i was going uh, from up here you can notice what is happening so there are features that can increase the case can lower the size of the weights uh, basically some of the top part that we have here a bit of it was coming on top here so from there also we can see and change uh, sorry the case that we wanted Maybe we make it just lower case or we can just change just uh, our 10 off caps lock on our computer so what happens between 35 minutes to 50 minutes so between these minutes maybe we say okay what we want to do is uh, uh, let's take it um, okay so you further further add um, millimeter. So you further add uh, millimeter uh, to to a likable uh, thickness as you keep staring. Okay, so you keep staring. And you add likable thickness and okay. So take for instance this word supposed to be and and you keep staring, but we've left it like that. So it has been highlighted, uh this solid been uh yeah highlighted and red to say that it's a wrong word. We'll come and see how we can get to work around it. So when we come to do the review, so and keep staring. So um so after done with this, uh, you keep to the thickness that you like. You keep adding minimal to the thickness that you like. Okay, so when you're done, then you let it uh, simmer for more. Five minutes. Then it's late. Okay, so we've done that. So okay uh, errors that have been put you we want to leave them like that all those things will come and be corrected so this is the table that we have if you see it keeps increasing <coughs> according to the size so it's not going to stick to the size that we had put it will keep going up and uh, adjusting itself to the normal size that can fit for the presentation that we are having so we can do likewise increase up uh, make it up as such so this is for the steps to take whilst we are cooking that. So now let's go for another slide. We are in the insertion and we want to add another slide of a similar type. So we add another slide. So we added a table this time around. We can add a chart, but this time around we want to insert a smart graphics, which is here on top. So when we press on the smart graphic, we want to show uh, maybe something that will show a flow of information from our moving step, step one, step two, step three, step four, so you can see is it a list of things are we distinct things no is it a process yeah cooking is a process so we want to show it in a process way so we can pick okay it's a process so they will show us different categories that we can pick for a process so which one do we want then we can pick any that we want okay uh this one will be fine then we can pick it so that one will show us the process 
So the key thing that we wanted, uh, or we can even put a, a summary process. So we want to keep a summary process, maybe we want to say, so what do you do? What's the first thing that you do that is uh, boiling water? That is the first one, then after adding addition of addition of millimil, addition of millimil, so there's addition of millimil. Mm. Wow, that's telling. Then what's the last thing that we can talk of? The the key the key point. Letting the meal simmer till ready. Okay, so we just put something quick. And from what you can see also here, we can enlarge it, uh, reduce the size uh, in terms of what will look nice. And like we said, we can change the colors if we want inside here. We don't like the color that is there. We can pick a different color for those weights. So what, what color do we want for those weights? Okay, we want that. We can pick and do multiple things that we want. Also, if you notice, we can also pick, do we want them to be on the side, the center? So all those will pop up according to each word that you are working on. And you'll be able to do uh, multiple things according to, your, to, to what satisfies your presentation, so to say. When you see this star, like we said, a star is for, for moving it. So once we come to the star, it is telling us where do you want it to fit. So if there is fine, then it is fine. So that is a summary of the process that you've done. That is there. So maybe you want to attach another slide in the session because we don't want to cloud what we are learning on one. So we will put up. So now we want to attach a picture maybe of how the cinema looks like once you prepare it. So where we said there is a video attachment, there is a picture attachment. So we want to also on top here, which is a picture attachment and an online. So let's try to pick an online picture. So we want to pick an online picture that will show us maybe how in Sima looks. So we can pick from our personal account or PC where the install information has been stored, usually on the cloud, or we can, because this is online. So basically we are picking either from our cloud or from Google search or Bing search. So the Bing search will tell, her, will tell it, okay, we want in Sima cooking. So we want it to give us maybe how the Sima looks, we want to see some pictures there, how the Sima can be prepared. Okay, so we have multiple, multiple, multiple pictures here that have popped up. So we can select, okay, this one looks like someone is cooking the Sima there. So we can pick that one and we can insert it. So you see, it has come too narrow, so we can enlarge it to the likeable size um, that we can see. Okay, so okay, so we can even centerize it uh, to the size that you want. It's becoming blur with the more we enlarge it, so it could be the picture, the small pixel. So this is a pictorial pictorial view. Okay, we've made a mistake on the pictorial, but we'll leave it like that so that you can come and use it for further correction. So from what you can notice here. Uh, on the insertion, so we we have actually uh, done most of the parts. We are attaching, so we have added the chart. Uh, so the smart art, we have put that here. They are just shapes, so we can pick a shape that we want to get maybe for pointers in case we want to label the part. So we can talk of a line or halos or pointers. So we can maybe take the halo. So what we want maybe is to label maybe what this is. Um, what 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 is happening here? So we can put some words. Uh, can 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 add some text on the on the on the design. So we can add a text box and be able to uh, uh, maybe uh, say uh, cooking of unsima 
So the text box will be there, we'll be able to, to put that, will come like that. Uh, if we want, like we said, a lot of things. So when we are there, it will align. Do you want it to be at the center? Do you want it to be where? Do you want to change the color for the words? Maybe we can change. Uh, did we highlight everything? Double click, triple click. One, two, three. Okay, everything is clicked. So we can pick. Okay, uh, what color do we want this to look like? To come out like? Okay, is that color okay? Okay, that is fine. So simmer. So cooking of simmer. So we've put something like that now we want to once you come on the insertion segment you can also see again on the shapes uh, there are these small arrows that are there so we can use part of those arrows those arrows maybe you want to put arrows to indicate different segments so once we click that okay we'll get maybe a this one also to show where the cooking stick is sorry um where is the insertion Okay, the shapes. Okay, we'll pick another one. Then this one will come to give us this one here. So if you have noticed, even when we came in home, we saw some of these features here. We saw this one. So these are the arrows that we are using for the pointers. Uh, basically, we we have we 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 had them here. So they are just in different category, like we had mentioned that they'll be thrown anywhere. And you'll be able to pick from there. So you can say that is a port. And as usual, in the insertion box, we'll be able to pick what we want. You can attach maybe an insertion box here. We can put a port. Uh, we can we can come here also. We insert another one and maybe wet box. Uh, again here, we can put uh, maybe. Yeah, sorry, there is a port there. I think but do uh point at one and the same thing. So maybe there we can just uh okay. Uh, we have this one is pointing on the same line, so we'll change it. Okay, so this is the same line side here, so we can come on the insertion as usual, like the wolf said. We'll just come there and attach maybe what do we want to say? Uh that's a mixture. Uh milli -mil and uh and uh, water so we've seen that is a mixture we can drag it to the position we wish it to come to okay so that is like that uh, if we want it to be more visible we can make it why it can be and <clears throat> so basically the idea has been gotten we can get to put something like that so we can see like the different uh, segments to allow us to, to to basically interact with it and be able to do multiple things. So we can take some screenshots and be able to attach them. We can use our personal pictures. You have a picture on your computer. You can go to it and attach it, and the the whole system will go up like that. Then there is also a segment on recording, but we also go and see it in the slides. You go to the slides, you see the recording that will be able to there. But uh, this one is actually on the insertion of uh, the recording, so we can get to insert it in our presentation and multiple multiple things. We can insert equations. We can we can attach the numbers. We can attach the header on our presentation. If you want to attach the date on our presentation, so it will pop up. Okay, what is today's date? So we we'll get the date. Whatever the date is, do you just want to apply it on this slide that we are on? If I say apply all, the date will be put on all the slides. If I just say apply, it will just be put on my specific slide that is open. So how do I know that this is the only slide that will be put on? If I come to the panel of view of the slides, it will be orange, the one that will be highlighted. So I'm on slide 7. So that is the one it's asking. Do you want me to put specifically to this one? So if I want to put on all, I put on all. And you see down there, there's a time that has been brought there. So the same applies. We can put the slide numbers. Uh, also, it can be applied. Uh, or we can get to say uh, for the slide numbers. Uh, let's get to. So for the slide numbers, we can put on top and we can apply to all. So the slide numbers are coming here. So I've seen this is slide seven. So all the other slides basically have been given or attached a number. 
So this is how we can make use of the different segment. So we talk of the word art, we want to design something, maybe let's go to another slide of a similar nature. So when we talk of the word art, something that we can smile up, like uh, make it a bit fancier. So you can put, come with it. The meal is ready. So also uh, here we can see there are new effects that has come. So format has popped up. So we can tell us how do we want to format this uh, type of uh, the, the words that we have written here. Also, we can see that we can reduce it uh, to make it smaller. We can enlarge it to make it bigger. Uh, so <clears throat> you can see how they are changing the words, the format that or font that has been looked at. And you can see the text field. So text field <clears throat> will be color that will be able to, uh, to pick. When you come to um, the, the styles, so these will come according to the different style that we want. Do you want it to be like that, like this, like what? So that's a style. <clears throat> we'll pick it something that will do up the background. So e.g., uh, away from that on the format, we can see a lot of things are popping up. E.g., uh, take for instance, there's, um, if you can notice, there are, or well, we can attach a picture. Uh, let's just uh, take up and go on the okay we'll, we'll put it up next for the next slide so we can put this and maybe come with it so it's kind of ready so to say so put up something like that a smart ad so we can put up equations, objects, and other things can basically get to be put. And you can attach a comment. So a comment on this slide specifically because it's a one highlighted here. So I can comment something. <clears throat> Make sure you wash your hands before eating. Okay, so we are advising to wash the hands. So the hands, please wash them before eating. So we have advised that. So it's a comment. So what happens is someone can get to respond to it. If I'm sharing this file online, or if I send this share folder to you, or the, the document, maybe you're preparing a presentation with different friends. So then it comes to you, you look at it, you attach comments, you also said to the friend also can reply, okay, I've noticed this, I've worked on it, or what? Or you can deal with your supervisors, you'll be able to share information and it will make the presentation as nice as it can be. So we have uh, we are we are we are done with this one. So uh, like the on the insertion segment. So let's try add another slide. We see something. So on the next slide, maybe we put um uh maybe animals that can eat their prepared meal so we've put that we want to know the type of animals that can eat that prepared meal enlarge it a bit we select all the words we want them to fall under one uh font so we come here we can change do we want them all capital letters for starters let's make the uppercase all of them do you want them centralized i think that will look nice do you want to change the font okay i think uh, aerial black will look better uh do we like the color that it has okay it's fine if you don't like it you're free to change it so animals that can eat the prepared meal so from this point, we want to try to go on the insertion and we want to insert a picture that we have on the computer. So what animals can eat that? Unfortunately, I just have Zebra and such few animals from my computer. So you can select where is your document. It will allow you to move. Is it on the desktop, on the map? Wherever you pick the document, once we pick the picture or the document that we want, we can be able to select it. 
and insert it. So a part of the animals I've picked, unfortunately, is this herbivore, uh, the zebra. I've picked it to be part of the animal that can feast on that. So if you see the moment I come on the picture, a format pops up to. So the format tells me, how do you want this picture to be? Do you want it to be in this format? Look at the background. So there are different styles that are coming out. When I'm edit, more like editing the picture. There's a flame, there are what? So a lot of things are coming. I can change the picture, put a different one. So I can either compress the picture, I can change the color of the picture, and I can put a border, the effects, the layout, how do I want it horizontal or in the, <coughs> in the sidewise. Um, a lot of things I can get to do. Now, one interesting feature that we wanted to look at is when I talk of the remove background. So this is a picture. Take for instance, I don't like the background. I want to change. So I'll, it will ask me once I click, yes, I want to change. <coughs> it will tell me to mark the areas I want to keep and mark the areas I want to remove. So if I'm, I pick on the mark the areas I want to remove, it will give me a pen. So this pen is the one I'll be writing. So which areas I want to remove. So I'll draw a line that side. I'm saying remove that area. I'll draw this line. I don't want that one to be shown too. Remove that line to there. Okay, I want. So they have given me this. So I can come. Which areas do you want to keep now? So I can come, this part you have covered my neck, I want it to be kept. <coughs> I want this to be kept. I want that to be kept. I want that to be kept. I want that too to be kept. Okay, the rest is fine. I think my legs, one of the legs, the whatever we see in paper is indicating that they are going to delete it. They are going to remove it. So we want to make sure that we keep it. Okay, so that I want them to keep for me. That I want them to keep for me. Okay, some applies on the legs. Okay, so I can come again. Which ones do you want to remove? So any area away from this, I want it to be removed. Any area around away from this, I want it to be removed. Any area around away from here, come in here, I want it to be removed. Okay, I want this small part here to be removed. I want this part here to be removed. Okay. Uh, I want something to keep here. That is this leg. They have just taken up my leg. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So once we are done with what we want, we can say keep changes. So my zebra will come out like that. It's not perfect. We are in a rush. We can make it nicer than that. And we can move it to slot it wherever we want to put it. So we can see, take for instance, let's attach another picture. Uh, pick another picture from there, maybe a lion or a tiger here. Okay, so we pick a tiger. So if you see the the tiger, when I look at the tiger, the tiger is this it's broken this the it's broken the zebra. <clears throat> so we have on top here the bring forward, send backwards. So if I click on the zebra the the, the tiger here, I can send it backwards. So by virtue of sending it backwards, it means I'm allowing now the other picture to come and show on top. It's just taking a bit of a time to load, but basically that is the idea. So if I say send backwards, okay, so it has been sent backward. So now that the, the zebra can come on top. So we have a lion, our, our, our leopard behind, and we have our zebra coming uh, as, as on the other side so the same can be done if we wish to maybe uh, we came to maybe the lion the, the, the leopard here so for the leopard to maybe bring it forward 
Okay, we brought it forward. Maybe we don't want to remove. We want to remove the background for the leopard. Okay, uh, I think the only thing that we need to change from here, uh, the areas we want to keep will be maybe just uh, from here, going down here. I think that's all. Then we can keep the changes. So our leopard will come out like that. So we have a leopard here and we have our, our zebra here. And if you can see, <coughs> it will tell us some of the effect that we can change on the picture. So how do you want the picture to look like? So we want them to look maybe like we want it to have a shadow. Okay, bit of a shadow on this one. How do you want this one to be? So we can change the effects. Uh, how do you want it to be? You want it to glow, to be glowing, or how do you want the land to be? So because of that, maybe because of our bad background, we can put something like that. So we put something like that. Okay, so the insertion again, uh, we can see there are different features that we can put for the whole uh, pictures and uh, the whole alignment that we've done. We can come to collection, maybe in terms of the what this zebra, how do we want it to look, a bit lighter. Uh, we come to this other one, that is a tiger, so we can pick how we want the tiger to look like. And we'll basically design something as good as that. Then we can ask if we want to come on the insertion. So basically on the insertion, those are the things that we can get to do. We can do multiple things and we say when you talk of the hyperlink the hyperlink is more like a link in a website so we can link maybe a table of content we can put a hyperlink then a link will be taking us once you click on that point it will take us to where we want to go like maybe you put a table of content one two three so when you press on one it takes you to the page where specifically you are so we can link it in the same document according to the way we want it to be we can put it according to the way that we want it to be pressed. So basically, uh, that is it under the design, under sort of the insertion. So we come to design, design will change uh, the whole view of what we are talking about, how we want it to be. Do we want it to change to that? We want it to change, look like this, the presentation. Those are the ones we saw on the templates. These are the different designs that are here. So we can pick according to what we want and a presentation will look different. So we can pick and it will affect almost the whole city of everything that we are doing. So and just close the comment segment. Now we come to the transition. So the transition mainly asks you how you want your presentation to come out, like the things to be popping up. If you talk of reveal, so this is how it will be revealing when it comes to the next slide. To come up randomly, to just pop out like that, to show a shape, this is how it will be coming when we are about to move from slide one to the next slide. Uh, you will see we can pick the curtain, so that is how the slide will come out. We can pick of a uh, uh, different, different way, um, a ripple, a shape, a flash, so it will just be like flashing up, uh, you know, that's if what we want it. So then we can apply to all, we want all the slides to show like that. So whenever we come to another slide, we go to the next one, yeah, they will get to show in such uh, fashion. So is it a clash or something like that? So we'll put like that and you can put a sound in the background that will be there and everything will made in such a manner so we come to the animation now this animation feature will be only active when you are doing something like an animation you can see here it's blank but where we have put something like animals and what the animation will be active so when you click on this slide animation will come in so how do you want the animals to appear on the slide you want them just to fly in uh, do you wish them to split do you wish them to come out like that or to just appear so there are a lot more that you can get to get uh, do you want them to come like that the same applies to the other one do you want it just to sweep through so different like that and 
your big different arrangement like that. So we can put randomly or in the wheel like that, it pops up. So we can pick that and we can put the delay time. I want to put all that can be put. When we go to the slide show, so the slide show is we are done now with the presentation. Now we put up uh, wanted to start from. So the presentation wanted to start from the beginning, uh, from the current slide that we are on, or we can pick a different one. We can try a yes. Now there's this uh, recording of the slide. So like the way we are talking here, you're doing a presentation, you can record it so that your presentation be recorded as a video and you'll be able to view it. So you can turn on the slide record as you are doing whatever you are doing the slide will be recording and you have a video uh, to be kept that will, uh, yeah, so which you can easily share as compared to sharing maybe a PDF as such so you can get to use it here. So there are a lot of features that will get to give you much work with Microsoft PowerPoint and it's very interesting. You can do a lot of things. You have your pictures, based on pictures, you can change the background, put new background and basically the pictures will be made to look as nice as you wish to be made and uh, it will be uh, it can be done in any way you feel like uh, doing it so we come to review so review is where we mentioned that we can get to uh, basically get to change the spellings uh, check the spelling the grammar was it okay or was it wrong so we can click on it so we see there's this word and uh, simmer so they are asking us is this the way SIMA should be? Yeah, it should be like this. So do you want to ignore it? This word, do you want to change it, the spelling? No, it's okay. So you can put ignore. So the Moape there has been asked because it doesn't understand the language. So uh, actually you can tell them to ignore. So it is telling us that word. Uh, there's a word thickness, ANS, NS. So that was to be AND. So do we want to change? Yes, actually it's supposed to be AND. So there's a YPU, it was U. So it's telling us on top, the best option is always on top. So we can change. Okay, U. So we wanted to put Pictorio, but we've put that. So it packs in, do you want Pictorios or Pictorio, Pictorio, okay, change. Okay, so there's another Sima. So you see, the Sima we were asked earlier on, on the, just on the title, but it keeps being asked. Why? Because we only ignored it once. But we can ignore it all so that they don't ever ask us on the SIMA how it is typed. Everything will be looked at to be okay. So if we did it on the first one, it will not even come. It will be ignored. Then we talked of the, the Theosolus. So the Theosolus, we mentioned that this one will tell us the different meaning of the word. Pick any slide. And um, so take for instance, so addition or SIMA. Uh, let's say, okay, addition. So we're talking of addition of minimum or addition of what, but want to pick another word that can give us a different meaning in the Theosolus. So when you click on that word, we highlight it, then we click on the Theosolus. So it will give us different word meaning that will attach to the same as addition. So it could be addition to be calculation, to be tallying, totaling because it talks of addition in mathematical segment. So it will tell us different uh, ways that we can make use of. Uh, maybe water, what's the other word we can use for water? So for water, we can say aquatic or marine, sea, river. So these are different things, the liquid, the different things that are there that are different, that relates to that. So I can get to use it and be able to just uh, squeeze it in uh, uh, my my presentation. So once I just like click on it, it will come in set. So boy in aquatic, uh, is in water, I'll be able to pick uh, something like that. So we can use a lot of different and can sometimes uh, if you have a word, maybe put summary. We don't know, maybe there could be a better word that could mean this summary. So what is summary uh, instance, the instantaneous, SD sudden. So you can pick something that may make uh, a similar meaning mm. to that. Once you have it, you'll be able to load it in your in your presentation and you can change. 
So this is a process or procedure, this is a method, summary method. So you can even pick the method here or development or the progression. Oh, so we can talk of uh, summary progression. So summary progression, so that is the progression that is there. So the summary progression, we can come to it and insert it. So it will just change the word there. So summary progression. So our sentence will be put with uh, more advanced language. That will be okay. Then we can keep saving each time we're doing the changes so that we don't lose out. Away from that, uh, we come to the view. So the view, how do you want to view your presentation? So you can want to view it in the normal, normal, we'll see it in the slide format, outline view, you will see without the slides, they are just weights listed like that, slide sorter. So you have a lot of slides that are just thrown up on top like that. Reading view, basically this is just for reading. Now you want to read it. So you can, if you're reading a slide, you can change it and be able to put it in any way that you feel like is okay. Now tell me what what to do. So tell me what to do is it's it's good in that um, you don't know where you know all the facets of Microsoft Office. You want to edit a document, but you don't know which category. Maybe it's in home animation or what. So e.g. fonts. So I'll just type. Then it will come to the font, and it will give me different type of fonts that I want. Maybe I want to pick for the writing that I'm doing. Uh, maybe I want spacey. So uh, let's get okay or smart art. So smart art. Basically, we can check for any segment of Microsoft that we don't know where it is. So once you check from there, it will be able to 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 give you. So there is a record of a slide. So whatever you want, you want to change something, the font size, uh, background, so background, so background styles. Okay, so how is it? Okay, this is this, so I can pick whatever I want, basically. So I can put on the normal slide and it will come to, to, to that, just as the way we want it to be presented. One more thing, we can just go on the quick one, so we can add a slide for the last one. We are done. We can just want to add a, maybe a song or a video you want to attach to your slide. So like we said, we can go on the insert in a video. You don't want to get one on the internet. You want to get it from your computer, so on your working computer. So you can get a song. I have a song there which I can get to insert in our presentation. So our song will pop up like that, which I can get to align. It's a video song. We can get to align and put it how we want it to fit. Once it has been fit, I can even name it, uh, maybe part of a um, uh, song to play. When eating. So we have that. So even the song will be added and our presentation will be so. Now, if you have seen, I added a slide when I was on this slide. So I added a slide, it just went direct to the next one. But what we can do is we can just drag it down until it comes to the last slide. So we have it there, so that the presentation is fully done. Now let's go to the slideshow, so that we do it. So slideshow from the beginning. This is the same arrow that you see on top. If you have made any mistake, keep using the arrow back, take you back. So now I want to start from the slideshow and see what we've made. So this is a presentation that we have made so far. <clears throat> we welcomed uh, to SmartNet. And you see, uh, so we're going, this is uh, office packages that we're talking about, that we're learning. And uh, <clears throat> we jumped to a preparation of Unsima and the presenter was such. And from that uh, part, we went on to the instruments or the ingredients that are going to be utilized to make this Unsima. Uh, on top of that, we had gone to the steps that are going to be used for this Sima to be prepared. Uh, we went into the uh, the progression to show the summer progression how to going to move. So we put the boiling of the aquatic wool, the water itself, and we move to different stages. We put that one to be squashing, so the pictorial view of how the Sima cooking is going to be and different parts of the cooking that is there. And we said once it's like that, it is ready. You can save it with any relish. 
and we mentioned of uh, different type of uh, animals <coughs> that can be able to take part of this meal and the next we mentioned in terms of uh, maybe there's a zebra that will be able to take part in your eating uh, also we had mentioned there will be a tiger there that can take part in your meal that is there <coughs> and lastly we mentioned of a song that has been added that we can be able to listen to as we cook the meal this is the end of our slide Hello, my boobay. Fuka te conti ma panchi. Palondina ven a single e chai de Simon one machina potfa. They are preparing me up, put on your makeup, pantuna la popoka. Uvemeleni mama kuchana kasha taka pondo na ka popoka. Okay, thank you very much. 